hello brothers praise god so uh, in this video i would like to uh, discuss on uh, the sermon on the mount which i am continuing from the past uh, sessions so this i wanted to uh, continue from matthew 5 uh, 7 chapter 7th verse sorry 7th verse 5 7 So here God says very clearly that blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. So I'm speaking on the sermon on the mount. So here when we clearly see blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. So God is telling that these people are blessed who are blessed in his eyes the people who are merciful for they shall receive mercy. So always um, it surprises me that God is telling here that uh, uh, if you are uh, because there are times at times we we struggle to show mercy to others here God is telling um, I'm just wondering Lord why uh, these people are blessed who are the merciful the blessing they get is they shall receive mercy Many times we feel that God is not merciful to us. Sometimes we we think that uh, God is so hard on us. But here, uh, when I see to the surprise that God is telling you that if you are really merciful, you are blessed because you will always be shown mercy. Because many times the sins which we commit, because many times uh, things which we do, I believe if we don't receive God's mercy we feel so tormented we feel so down we feel like is God really uh, uh dealing with me in a right way uh, I'm not trying to uh, speak on this in uh, in a negative way but here I understand uh, why God uh, why did God you say specifically that blessed are the merciful but they shall receive mercy so understand brothers wherever you are whomever you are speaking to uh, uh with i think uh, in whatever situation you are you understand this thing that uh, jesus is telling very clearly that extend mercy extend mercy in your family in your work location maybe wherever whomever uh, in your relationships to your children or to your parents or to your husband to your wife to your friends to your neighbors whoever is um, hurting you or maybe who is intentionally uh, disturbing you here i clearly see that god is telling that be merciful to them uh, because jesus i think jesus when he when he was on the cross they were trying to crucify him he said this one word that father they do not know what they are doing because in the ignorance they are actually doing it but have mercy on them please forgive them that's what i understand it many times you, you see with god's eyes many things uh, not with our own eyes when you see with god's eyes god telling uh, you see a bigger picture when yesterday i was uh, speaking to one of the brother where it says in the sermon on the mount same thing that why do you uh, do I mean why are you looking for the speck in your brother's eye but not looking for the log in your own eye not noticing the log in your own eye so the log is always a bigger picture speck is a smaller thing that's what god jesus holy spirit god uh, explained me very clearly that um, log is always a bigger picture when jesus sees you you always see a log in your eyes a bigger picture in your life and there's a bigger problem in your life many times we only know the speck in other people's lives a little of their life maybe a little of their uh, external life maybe their attitudes their motives their uh, desires we do not know but many times we judge them we we judge them based on their external code of conduct but god is telling that um, always always be merciful because when you when you really notice the log in your eye when you judge yourself under the lord's um, uh, word or lord's light when you really judge you really understand uh, how 
what exactly we are where exactly we stand in our life how sinful and how wicked our hearts are so i believe um, god is always uh, i think i'll go to that point where it says in matthew 7 about judgment but in later videos but uh, this thing i wanted to highlight is brothers that always be merciful as the holy spirit god to give us strength that everybody whoever is watching this uh, this session this video um always god is telling that you are blessed when you are merciful so always be merciful brothers extend mercy to others so it's only possible by the power of the holy spirit yes yes sometimes it it looks as if it's so impossible for us to extend mercy but uh, i see one word in um, and you show one word in romans 12 clearly says that um, in romans 12 18th verse when you see if possible sorry when i read 17th verse never pay back evil for evil to anyone respect what is right in the sight of all men so always why did holy spirit god write this word made uh, paul to write this word he clearly says never pay back evil for evil we always have a tendency to return to to pay back evil for evil so we see there's no mercy somebody commits an evil against you uh immediately he's I mean, in the 21st verse he says that do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good so when somebody has done anything bad to you are you trying to overcome it with evil or are you trying to do overcome that evil with good that's what paul is telling that never pay back evil for evil that means be merciful in the same when i see in the 18th verse in the context of writing that he says if possible so far as it depends depends on you be at peace with all men so why did paul write this word why did holy spirit inspire him to write this word telling very clearly if possible so far as it depends on you it depends on you be at peace with all men so many times uh other person might not be at peace with you maybe doesn't want to reconcile with you but from on your part always try to be at peace with other person that's what holy spirit god is as if so far as it depends on you not other person be at peace with all men so it's always a calling for us that god is telling that these people are blessed to always show mercy because when i seen jesus christ life when he was when he was walking on the face of this earth he 33 and a half years we don't know brothers what sort of suffering he has been through we just only know the three and a half years picture but the 30 years of his life is hidden and we clearly see in scriptures here and there how holy spirit god keeps showing him because when i see his teaching i understand his spirit i understand his life how how he has been through he has been so merciful to many uh, maybe people have mocked him uh, tortured him they would have spoken so many things against him uh, in every way um, they might have uh, pulled him like insulted him because in isaiah it says very clearly that i uh, they've done uh, they plucked my beard and uh, they have touched my back and all these things and we think more of like it's more of on uh, the day when uh, yes because i, I it, it can it, it is for sure because god says the hour has not come many times but yes but i believe uh, at least not physically but uh, spiritually when i see this lot of abuse i think uh, but jesus always had this because these blessings which he is speaking i always believe this coming something from his own life uh, he's telling very clearly blessed are the merciful but they shall receive mercy so the question is brothers uh, are you merciful and god is telling that you are blessed if you show mercy and coming to the next thing blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god so god is saying here that blessed are the ones who are pure in heart for they shall see god so always i uh, i even when i see when i see it in jeremiah it says that uh, man's heart is deceitful and wicked and uh, it's deceitful above everything else but 
always used to think lord how can a man keep his heart pure uh, so when we when we compare scripture to scripture it says in psalms that his word is pure refined refined seven times so whenever when when psalm says that i store up your word in my heart uh, that i may not sin against you always believe that the holy spirit god has been poured into our hearts according to galatians and uh, other other chapters where it says the holy spirit god his name himself is holy holy spirit so the more you fill with the holy spirit the more you're purified uh, because when he's when he uh, i think the sanctification the progressive sanctification the purity of the heart uh, because the word will purify you and here i i uh, understand it like when you're really pure in heart you see god in everything in the sense uh you see god's hand in your life in every situation where wherever you are in whatever situation you are oh it can be um oh maybe somebody are uh, bound to their father in laws places maybe they're uh, living uh, under their authority maybe they're uh, where maybe it can be uh, somewhere else in the office maybe anywhere um i understand that if you are really pure in heart you understand that god's hand is always always uh, in every situation in every circumstance of your life god's hand is there because many times we we feel it's like mysterious things as if god is not in control of our lives yes i do feel it many times but um, but god clearly says that here blessed are the pure in heart but they will see god all the time you will see god's hand in your life you will understand it is god's ways god's things because he can use any circumstance any situation any person we know this one thing that god is in absolute control but here god is telling that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god so brothers i always pray that we'll always have a pure heart will purify our hearts with the word of god always always purifying ourselves in the in the, in the light of god's word always if you have this pure heart god is telling that you are really blessed because you always see god so seeing god is like, i think as psalm says i think in acts um that one word where it says uh, uh when they were filled with the holy spirit on the day of pentecost Peter says in uh, 25 Acts 2:25 uh, for David says to, says of him but the David says of the God Jesus Christ I saw the Lord always in my presence for he is at my right hand so that I will not be shaken so this particular verse is in reference to Psalm 16 there he says it I I I kept the Lord continuously in my in front of me but here he says i saw the lord always in my presence the same same things but uh, coming to the new testament it's totally different he says i saw the lord always in my presence but when i see in psalm 16 i think yes in psalm 16 one word i'll just uh, psalm 16 it says uh, um 16 uh 8 it says i have set the lord continually before me because he is at my right hand and i will not be shaken but coming to new testament it's totally different he says i saw the lord always in my presence setting the lord in front of you is different seeing the lord is very different so i understand more of like when you're filled with the holy spirit when you're with the anointed with the holy spirit uh, because on the day of pentecost when peter was full of the holy spirit full of the power of the holy spirit he saying you always saw the lord i think there's one thing where we can understand when you're full of the, when you're the power of the fullness of the holy spirit you will always see the lord in your presence and you will never be shaken so always understand brothers uh the purity of heart uh, is only possible by the holy spirit so again i'm telling it's a holy spirit god who purifies our heart and he is the one who will always um um because uh, god's presence it's not something like a feeling but always uh, we have that inner joy inner peace 
and here he clearly says that blessed are the ones who are pure in heart for they shall see god so brothers understand that always are you seeing god in your lives uh are you just seeing people are you just seeing situations maybe you are trying to blame others grumble complain i think brothers you are not seeing god in your lives maybe your heart is not pure you need to purify it you need to cleanse your heart you need to ask the lord to cleanse him because he says in ezekiel very clearly i will sprinkle clean water on you and i will clean you because i will cleanse you from all your filthiness and all your idols jesus I mean, that's a great promise i always think lord please cleanse me from every wickedness filthiness because always my brothers i understand that we need to see god's hand in everything we do in our lives so these people are blessed god says that these people are blessed who really are pure in heart so praise the lord brothers thank you thank you for this uh, i just thank the lord jesus christ for this opportunity yeah. praise god